puppy. Hmm? You should be in on this pile. <laughs> Quite comfy. Oh, here she comes. The third one? <laughs> so this video is going to be about, I guess, one major life update. Well, one small one too, because I finally have a new phone. I do a lot of my recording on my phone just because it's so much easier. My phone is always there. My phone had some serious issues. What are you doing down there? Um, by the way, adopt this puppy. This video uh, is just about my personal life, I guess. I remember a few years ago kind of debating if I was ever going to get into my personal life on this channel and deciding no for the most part. However, now here we are a couple years later and I feel like I know you guys and I feel like you know me. You followed my life, potentially, unless you're new here. Hello. Uh, but potentially you've been following my life for a while. And so I've gotten a lot more comfortable, I think, uh, and hopefully it shows, being candid and myself. And so in light of that, I started sharing Ben on this channel. And you guys noticed probably the first video or two that he was in with me. I never really addressed, I, I didn't at all, who he was, what he was, why he was here. And so now we're going to, because he lives here. Surprise! He moved to the farm. He being my boyfriend for the last year. Well, we met um, actually a little over a year ago now. It's been a few weeks now um, since he officially moved here. I guess to answer some of your questions that I've seen in the comments, uh, yes, his name is Ben. We met online. He grew up on a farm. He works his day job uh, as a lawyer and then and then uh, has now basically taken on farming part-time. You've seen him in scattered videos doing things here and there, but I don't think you probably even realize like what to what extent he has invested himself in in these animals, in this stream I have, in the sanctuary, in the farm, all of that. Um, I never would have imagined finding someone, I I hoped to find someone that would, I guess, tolerate it uh, and, you know, find, find some joy in it now and then, um, but to find someone that all day, every day feels like a partner in it is more than I think I ever dreamed of because it's a lot. It's actually... <laughs> A lot of it is very hard work um, and emotionally taxing and draining, particularly, you know, when you're dealing with rescue animals, he dove in head first though. And I think I was scared, reluctant, whatever, because I kind of kept waiting for him to get burnt out, I suppose. And, you know, realize maybe life before all of this was easier or less stressful. He knew when I didn't. He wasn't going anywhere and he cared about me enough that even on the days when maybe this wasn't ideal, uh, it was still worth it to him to give it everything he had just to make sure that I was happy. To share with all of you a little bit about uh, what he's done here. Basically, if I mention something, some dream, some crazy aspiration, whatever I have, he makes it happen. It's a chicken coop. You, There's a video where I redo this chicken coop and he's the one that found the chicken coop and brought it out here and helped me turn it into what it is now. And then I mentioned wanting aviaries. That was it. I was like, I have this crazy dream to one day like create these silo aviaries. And I think it was probably the next day that he was sending me all of these silos for sale and all these different ideas to try and make it work. And then actually ended up finding the cages that again, I have a video about now. Those are credited to him. Uh, he found them. He did not give up. He was relentless in trying to make it happen. Even though the birds hate him, he's been attacked by the birds before. <laughs> and then the gazebo by the pond. We found one and kind of brought out here. He built me this dining room table. He built me this bench. I wanted a garden and my dad helped him. So it's like extra special to me. Um, but the two of them, yeah, worked on creating this and it's incredible. I have the most amazing garden. <laughs> so he ended up specifically just to create my crazy animal dreams. He built this whole trailer. So this is his like 
carpenter, handyman, Ben the Builder <laughs> trailer. Just, just for this stuff, basically. So, yeah, started with the garden, and then he started buying all these books and learning how to do all this stuff and getting all these tools and making this trailer and then he started working on secret projects so he made the rabbit cage so he built that and i was like a tree fort half joking and then his response was two-story tree fort <laughs> you guys have not seen this yet but um we're also working on building the little dogs their own playhouse dog house type thing so you'll see that next we're going to be working on finishing out the animal houses so you guys can get a tour of those i have a reptile house and uh like a small mammal house he's incredible i guess that's all i'm trying to say he's just amazing and a year later this has been the best relationship the animals all love him obviously i don't think he's going anywhere so i thought it was time that you all officially meet him. We expect to see more of him. So that's it. Maybe they think they're protecting you from this thing ah. and that's attacking your foot. Ah. <laughs> Why do they want? I like how friendly they are. I know. Mostly him. Do you need help? <laughs> 